What do you make, first of all, of this very, very hot uh, Tokyo metropolitan area uh, December CPI number? So I think uh, this also this shows that uh, Japan is, is somewhat lagging behind uh, Europe and U.S. in terms of an inflation cycle. You know, I think in U.S. and Europe, inflation uh, scare is actually coming down. But I think in Japan, uh, due to the uh, lag with the oil price increases, I think uh, the CPI is just about to get hotter, not uh, cooler in Japan yet. CPI is about to get hotter, not cooler in Japan. So uh, interesting, right? You've got the BOJ set uh, to meet uh, on the 18th of this month. And shortly after that, uh, apparently the government is going to come out with forecasts for inflation based on a metric that uh, they haven't really focused much on before until very recently, and that is core, core uh, inflation. How significant is this, this refocus by the government? <laughs> so, uh, well... Bank of Japan is choosing the indicator is, uh, which suit their, you know, which suit their purpose. Um, well, um, CPI, core CPI is basically uh, CPI in excluding food and uh, energy, and those uh, food and energy are really the part which are uh, rising fast. So Bank of Japan is basically telling the nation, hey, don't look at the components which are rising too rapidly. Just look at the other components which are still relatively calm. And when you look at household spending, uh, Okubo-san, uh, that was a negative surprise in November, uh, minus 1.2%. Mm. Reuters was looking for a 0.5% expansion. What is that telling you about uh, consumers, about households broadly in this environment where you believe inflation is going to uh, move mm. higher as opposed to lower? Right. Well, uh, household number, well, I, I don't think we should look at just a one single month number. This household survey is known to be relatively volatile. So, but I, I, in, so, so I, I don't think we should make too much out of it. Uh, it, it is a piece of information we should uh, uh, take into account, but uh, not, you know, not really focus on it. Um, in private consumption in general, or in Japan, should be on the uptrend. You know, Japanese economy is actually only starting to recover uh, out of the COVID crisis. You know, uh, uh, inbound tourism hasn't even start, uh, has started, but it's, uh, it hasn't really started yet. So I think Japanese economy is looking into a better, brighter 2023 than the rest of the world. 